esters to make them we have three different ways and they all involve the same mechanism and the same type of reaction so the mechanism of, well the type of reaction is called the condensation and the mechanism is addition elimination we can make well we need an alcohol can you guess which alcohol we need we need ethanol because this part of the ester always comes from the alcohol okay because the as you can see if we break this apart we're left with this we could attach an hydrogen so we get this alcohol which means that we will need in this case ethanol We can react it so for this part of the molecule can come from three different molecules. It can come from carboxylic acid, acyl chloride, and acid anhydride. So can you guess each of them? So we need to realize that uh, to make the main chain of the ester, the one that takes the OH name, we need one of this functional group. So they would all have two carbons. So we would have ethanoic acid, or we could have the acyl chloride version of it, or the acid anhydride version. And the acid anhydride, remember that the, it's this functional group with oxygen and then another double bond. Because the part, this part of the ester would come from this. So you can see it's common for all of them. But this also suggests that each of these esterification would have a, a different, um, would have a, well, the ester would be the same, ethyl ethanoate, but the, um, the side product would be different. A carboxylic acid would release water because uh, the condensation reaction takes place between this hydrogen and this OH. For the acyl chloride would be hydrogen and that Cl. So guess what would be HCl as side product. And for the acid anhydride, this whole thing would react with the hydrogen and guess what that is it's a carboxylic acid so carboxylic acid would be the side product of the reaction between alcohols and acid and hydride okay what you could also be asked to consider is like why do we have so many different reactions which one would be favor over the others well is the chloride actually the most reactive because chlorine and oxygen bonded to the same carbon makes it like a, a stronger dipole and acid and hydride they are also very reactive because of the leaving group it's this in red it's quite it's really really stable so the reaction is most likely to occur but the carboxylic acid it's a weak acid so it doesn't even dissociate completely so this would make the reaction a bit um it would make the reaction even weaker plus water would also cause it's not only the side product, but it also cause hydrolysis of the esters. So it's a bit less likely yeah, to, to form a highest uh, a higher yield. Okay, so there are some preferences in which reactant to use.